guys, what is going on? My name is Raf, and today I want to tell you something. If you're a Dragon Ball Z fan and you've been waiting to play a good Dragon Ball Z game, you gotta check this out. I present to you Hyper Dragon Ball Z. It's a fan game created by a group of people called Team Z2. The game was created in Muggen Engine, and if you don't know what Muggen is, is basically an engine that allows anybody to create fighting games with 2D graphics like Street Fighter and Marvel vs. Capcom. From what I've seen, it seems like the game has been in development for quite a bit now. And it's probably going to take a while for the game to reach its maximum potential because obviously they don't own the license for the Dragon Ball Z characters so they can get paid for it. But the good news is that they released a demo where you can play as five different characters. You can play as Goku, Super Saiyan Goku, Vegeta, Hercule, and the Cyberman. And also they're finishing Adult Gohan which should be done pretty soon. So I played the game and I'm very excited for this game because I think the last time that I played a good Dragon Ball Z game was Dragon Ball Z Budokai 3 for PlayStation 2 and that was a long time ago. Now for this to be a fan game and we can see how it's looking right now, this is going to be awesome because we know fans know what they want in the game. So for some people this might be the game they've been waiting for their whole lives. It has good animations, the characters look just like the ones on the show, the moves, they have the same um, animations as in the show, and every character has a different style, so there's no clones. Now, the only thing that kind of bothers me is that I think there's no balance with the combo system, because it seems that you can start attacking and attacking and attacking and attacking and just kill the person like in two combos. So if you decide to play this game, you're going to find out that the game, even on the easiest difficulty, is very hard. But don't worry, because the team already said they're going to try to fix this, because it's an issue that everyone's having troubles with. As for the release date of the game, there is not going to be a release date. They confirmed that the game is going to be a work in progress, where they're going to keep updating the game with new characters, and they said that they'll keep adding characters until they get tired of the game, which means that we might even get characters that are fan-made like characters from Dragon Ball Z AF and all the other characters people have made over the years. As how fast we're gonna get new characters? I don't know, but they have a Facebook page and I'm gonna put it down on the description box and there you can, it seems like you can ask any questions you want and they'll, they seem like they answer people. So if you have questions, check them out. So this game has a lot of potential to be a very good Dragon Ball Z game. So if you go down to the description box, there is a link where you can download the game and try it for yourself. And if you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe, tell me in the comments what do you think about the game. And I will see you on the next one.